And here we go. The box is open. Let's see what we got, because I honestly do not know. Oh, of course, look at this crappy job. Yeah, 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 I'll just, I'll pack it beautifully. Thanks. Okay, we got some VHS, that's awesome. We have a t-shirt, clothing in general, always good, and hot titles of 93 from Sega, which is a little bit banged up because, again, poorly wrapped. Oh, wow, I love So it seems the person, of course, walked around the conventions and picked up the uh, pamphlets and programs. Oh, Parasite Eve, yeah. Big Parasite Eve fan when I was growing up. They just picked up the random competition. That's how you do it. We've got a Nintendo binder. This is like almost homemade, so that looks pretty interesting. Let's do the shirts first. Nintendo.com. Oh, episode one, Star Wars Racer, button-down shirt. This is a really nice shirt, actually. This is not like your basic T-shirt. This possibly could just be an employee-only piece because of just how clean and nice this is. This isn't your usual T-shirt handout. It's a button-down, which means it's worth... It's a button-down. Please be a Parasite E. I already see the E there. So I got the E part. So this would be more of the handout shirt. Episode 1, Star Wars Pod Racer, and nothing in the front. But still, pretty cool. I like the back. And this is, of course, on Episode 1. Was it already out at this point? No, it should be just coming out. And everyone had their high hopes for Star Wars. We're going to make tons of money. We're all going to be swimming in oceans of money because Episode 1 will... Nah. The game still did well. I mean, the, in general, the movie still did well, but it wasn't, I mean, again, who can, it was a bar that was set so high with the original movies, and then years of it just being considered the best of the best, you were never, ever going to get close. VHS cassettes, we got Nintendo, SCS 91, single play, we have 96, and we have... Ooh, Nintendo Merchandising of America 1988 CES. Well, those will be saved for a different time. Okay, same game with the binders. I can't just open them up and show everything. I have to inspect them first off camera as I pull them out of the box and say like, yay, nay, I can do this. So let us see what this one's all about. Because these are like the handmade binders. These aren't like binders that would be given out to people at CES, E3, or just retail stores. These are like internal binders. So let's see what's in this one. Was sent to, this is like internal packet sent out to employees for just motivational or the direction the company is going. Kind of like, let's do it. These are the things that you should focus on. Nothing about like video games or displays or, you know, real history involved. We have a pink packet. That's pretty interesting. So this packet is just photos of Target around the year 2000. And literally just how they had their set of displays, how things looked actually being used, were they being used, and all, of course, the competition. That's really cool. Historical binder right there. Let's see. Oh, we got Game Tech. Oh, I'm so happy you put it against the side. Oh, look at that. Crush. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate that. Don't worry, I'm going to wrap it real well. Game tech. One step beyond. It's not like a horrible 90s full moon production horror movie. You know, grade B, but you'll still watch it. Game tech. One step beyond. It's like the, uh, what was it, the arcade movie? Oh, yeah. So, this is... Okay. Super Nintendo advertisements portfolio pieces. It's pretty interesting. I haven't seen this. It probably is from a company called Game Tech, obviously. Still pretty cool. Toys R Us National Store Directors Meeting, Dallas, Texas, May 14th. Where were you guys at May 14th, 1998? And that is the big question because you could have been here. You could have seen it. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, there's some internal paperwork and pamphlets here. That's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, just discussions of stuff and just little inserts here and there. That's cool. Let's see what's going on here. Oh. 
market meeting merchandising crushed calendar a little bit crushed it's more crushed on the earth side playstation 1999 calendar wasn't used but it's still pretty cool uh a lot of sports here a lot of sports there we go i mean technically you could claim that to be sports well there's a lot of sports in here you know calendar wise there's a crash calendar wise i'm not excited about that <laughs> really really just the logo like you couldn't think of anything else just the logo wow that is just that is sad look at that important phone numbers well wow. was important enough to fill out we are continuing on lots of paperwork just tons of paperwork so there's a pop point of purchase guides 2003 player's choice and of course the pokemon blue and sapphire pop guide that's pretty cool since i am a pokemon collector which way should we go wow nintendo ploy store grand opening <gasps> nobody wants to look in this do you really 1998 Ooh, look at that so these were all the slides of all the photos. And there's some photos there too. Ooh. Neat. Neat. What was this one? So this binder has nothing. Literally nothing. Which means it has nothing inside of it. So there's no reason to even look inside, right? Ooh. So it's um, another speech it looks like, to be honest. That's interesting. We'll cover that book later. Peanut. We have a white binder. Same thing. It's blank. <gasps> There's stuff in there. Binder showcasing all the various stores from probably around 2000. Kmart to Babbage's of just all their displays. This is really cool historic stuff. I'll give you a little taste. Check that out. All Babbage's, all the happy memories. Okay, let's see what else we got. Or not, I mean, I'm just angry about how this packing job is a joke. Here's a Nintendo binder. It's a generic, it looks like. Sorry. But it is a merchandising binder. NMI Count Call Manual. Ooh, this one is probably one I should not be opening up on camera. Ooh. Okay, we'll cover that evil later. That's just too evil for now. Let's see. NMI District Supervisors Meeting in 1998. Was I there? No, of course I was not. I was in school. Huh? That's pretty cool. It's giant, just chock full of information about things you do and things you don't. Cover that later. Oh. Oh my God, this thing is huge. So we have a NOA displays, which is Nocturnal Orangutan Attitudes. Right? No, but that would be a great video game for the 90s. Checking it out. Oh my God. I think it's completely just. Uh, wow. Not, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Wow. This is, this is covering like every display. Who made it, the companies involved, how you set them up. Wow, that is a great book. Mostly black and white, but there are some uh, merchandising catalogs and there are like mini ones. That thing is packed. Wow. Oh, wait, there's more. What's this? No, I think that was probably a. Well, we'll have to figure out where that one goes. Or a black binder of evil. Ooh, same thing, pretty much different time frame where they had displays and setups from various companies. Well, that's really cool. I wonder what year that would be from. That's just like the Urbinder. So we got... I can stop bonking my head. That's what I got to start doing. Paperwork, paperwork, more photos, Nintendo News... Game Boy Advance SP Launch. I'll oh, take it. That's cool. 
Oh, Metroid Prime launch pan. This is a plan. That's its own packet. Metroid Fusion. We're getting... Oh, yeah, we're keeping all that. Wario World launch plan. <laughs> I'm, I'm, this is really cool. GameCube hardware bundle. Oh, we got a Nintendo news. These are well collected. Just one. Oh, I love the display conceptuals. That is awesome. None of them are original art, but still. POP guide. Oh, Advance Wars is on it. That's a keeper just right there. Advance Wars 2. Love it. Wow. This is, this is a good, 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 good box. That's a real thick one. So March POP Blitz. POP guide from November 2002. Zelda Wind Walker. Wow, we got some really good games here. They obviously, you want to focus your attention on the really strong Mario Party 4. You want to focus attention on the strong games. More uh, internal photos. And we're getting down to it. Sega POP flat displays. Oh, sweet. Yeah, thanks for uh, doing that, you jerk. Sports games, why? Why? Oh, why? Oh, it's like a CD, that's cool. Interesting. I was a collector of Sega for a while, but you know, not much of a Sega fan in comparison. Wow, 1995. Electronic Entertainment Expo pamphlet. That's just that stuff that just doesn't survive, to be honest. We have another Nintendo News. 1995. 2003 Kmart Functionality Survey. Look, another one. That's awesome. That means the one will be available in the public. NMI. Has adopted a smart casual dress policy. Well, I'm glad to know that. Thank you so much. Wow. NES Merchandising Inc. Training Guidelines. Our PlayStation. A uh, little, little takeaway. Okay, hold on. There's a lot going on here. Oh, just more pages in there. That's really cool. It's early stuff. Here's the Nintendo. Nintendo. Here's the Nintendo Ultra 64. That's what it's going to look like, guys. Well, at least the display will look. That's cool. Double dash. Wow, the 2002. This is their actual display setup. GameCube, Xbox, PS2, featured area. The R Zone. Sweet. This is awesome. Let's just finish this puppy off. Oh, I can't. There's too much stuff. Account specific display photos. Summary insights. Block that. Nintendo merchandising overview. Whoa. Custom concept display program. Oh my god. That's awesome. So here's Playthings. These are file copies. If you guys know about Playthings, it's merchandiser for the companies and retailers to pick up stuff and learn about internal things and what's going on for the market of toys. What? What the snot? Let's burn that. <clears throat> and we now have a ton of Playthings. So that being said, we have now finished the video.